Hi and welcome to today's video where I will show you how to import your bank reconciliation statement on NetSuite and reconcile it. To begin with, you have to ensure that the bank accounts that you're going to be importing the data on and reconciling, that they are actually set to be uh, on this new bank reconciliation feature. Now, uh, the way to do it is you go to the bank account of your choice the one that you're going to be uh, reconciling and you have to make sure that the use match bank data and reconcile account statement pages uh, is ticked okay so once this is done uh, the next step is to go to transaction bank and you go to uh, banking import history forget about reconcile bank statement this is being deprecated it won't be there anymore so if you go to banking import history you can click on upload file and that's what it's going to ask you to either use uh, predefined templates that you have let's say you've got multiple banks and each bank has got different templates that they provide the bank statement uh, in you could create these institutions and set their formats uh, accordingly so that NetSuite knows what to expect when you put the file in there you know for the mapping uh, if not, if, it's, if you only have one bank, then you can just select uh, import with a default parser, CSV, and you click on the file that you actually want to upload. Look for the account that you, you want to um, uh, upload the statement on, you know, maybe it's the bank account that we just saw on the chart of account, and then click on import. Okay, then you, well, if you forgot to track your status here on the top right, you can always go to transaction bank and then go to um, reconcile, sorry, banking import history. When you click on this, you will see if the import was successful or not. If it wasn't, if you click on the left button here, you will see the failure reason. Now, uh, the format of the bank that you are uh, importing the statement for uh, will be shown by NetSuite. NetSuite will let you know what format the standard import uses by going to, you know, when you go to upload file, you'll have to click on, um, when you click on import with a default parser, you'll have to click on download the CSV template here. When you click on this, it will, NetSuite will open up this file, but just with the top uh, the top column headers. Uh, my Excel is in French, so of course it's a semicolon delimiter, but here NetSuite is in comma. Um, and what we see here is it requires a date, month first, then the day, then the year, comma, then the name of the customer or the vendor, exactly as it is on NetSuite, without the code before it, you know, so some uh, might think that you need to put the ID and the name. Right now, the name is enough. The transaction ID on the bank statement itself. The transaction type, so it could be a, a payment for a customer payment or a ACH for vendor payments. Now, um, I've put up the list of all the uh, transaction types uh, that you can use here on this Word document. So just pause the video, check them out and what they mean. So basically ACH is vendor payments. So payments that you make out from like from your bank account to someone. And the ACA, uh, sorry, the payments, where is it? So that's ACH and the payments are payments received. Now I'm not sure why bill payments are here. Maybe they're talking about refunds, I'm not sure. But anyway. This is the way to set it up. Okay, so once you've set up these uh, correctly, the amount, uh, the memo, the NetSuite, well, if you know, if on the, the bank statement you can find the customer's internal, internal ID on NetSuite, then go ahead, you know. But in general, we don't bother with these last fields. So that's why you see a couple of commas there, or you would have blank columns if you're using Excel in uh, in America or wherever the comma is the field delimiter. Now I'm going back to NetSuite. So I imported this. So let's go to bank and 
we'll have a look at the import history. We see that it's been completed and it was a success. So let's go to the next step. If I go to transaction bank, I will have to go to match the bank data now. And now we'll be able to run reconciliation rules. So in case you don't want to go through all of them one by one, you know, uh, reconcile them manually, uh, you can create rules. Of course, you have to create these rules um, on, on NetSuite before uh, actually, uh, well, matching the bank data automatically. So you will create these rules. Maybe you will ask NetSuite to look up the date, maybe the entity name, so maybe the vendor, the customer name, the transaction type, the amount. Um, and then once the rules are set, then you can run the rules and then NetSuite will see if there are matching references from maybe uh, the payment reference or the name or the amount. And it will automatically match the uh, imported bank statement dat data, which is on the left here, and the NetSuite data, which is on the right. Now, if there's anything missing, like anything that's not reconciled, like let's say it's been reconciled on your bank statement, but there are bits missing to be reconciled on NetSuite, then it probably means that, you know, you are missing a payment on NetSuite, you know, you receive a, maybe a deposit on your bank statement, on your bank account, and you forgot to add it onto NetSuite. So you'll have to go back onto NetSuite, create the deposit, and then come back here. Now, once everything is uh, is uh, matched, you can submit this. And then uh, the next step is go to Transactions Bank, and then you will, oops, you will reconcile the uh, bank, the account statement, reconcile account statement. Once you, you click on this, it will show you all the data that's been matched by account. And again, if you don't see the bank account here, don't forget to up update your child account bank account for it to, sh to, um, to be allowed to show on this reconciliation page. Now you will see uh, all the information that's been mapped here and you can select, uh, you can click on reconcile to complete the reconciliation process. Okay, it's as simple as this. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.